Good afternoon, my YouTube friends. Well, I'm up here in the uh, in the orchid room, and uh, <clears throat> it's just a small video today. Let me just sit down here, and uh, I've just got three orchids to focus on today, and uh, this is the Slogeny family. Now let me just see which uh, is easiest to get hold of first of all and um, I'm not really, if I'm truthful, over fond of Sologenes uh, and perhaps that's been unfair um, because uh, I don't really know anything about them and um, this huge big one here, let me just take the label out is the uh, Sologeny uh, Burfordiense and uh, actually this one came from Madeira so all the orchids that uh, come out of Madeira they're not all you know infested with scale or fusarium um, perhaps some orchids are more susceptible and uh, if you'll see this this enormous orchid here. If you remember a few weeks ago when I, I said she'd got a new um, growth developing or, a, or an in flower inflorescence, well I'm still not sure what that is. I wouldn't have thought it was a flower because um, of the way it's elongating out and then it's just started to uh, open at the top as if it's a pseudo bulb and out of the top there will come the next set of leaves and uh, she's got some some good roots here and uh, they're funny these, le these roots are let me just see how I can focus in any closer hold on because the the furry uh, a bit like um, a pathiopedlum, but they're not brown. But they're um, the root isn't brown, but they're a little bit furry. It's a weird thing. This is anyway. Uh, she's continuing to uh, develop this one now. I have to just put her down there before I drop her. Um, as I say, I've only got ooh from that that one there. I must have just touched her, and it's all sticky here. Uh, this is the one that I've uh, mounted on this log here. And what's this one called? Um, let's get a bit nearer without blurring everything. Um, let's have a look. Um, a few sessions. And uh, that little growth, still a little growth, I think it's actually, uh, it is developing. And if I take, I don't know if you can see down there, just behind, I don't think you'll be able to see it, um, those pseudobulbs. Um, she's got another root there, can you just see it? that white thing going that way? Um, she's got another root going out onto the bark that way. She's not been watered today. She'll probably be watered tomorrow now and that's the air plant on the top. So let me just, uh, I'm just going to pop her on the floor first before uh, I show you this next one. And uh, oh, this one's been watered today. I think one of the things with the Sologenes, I never really know how much water they, they require. I either drown them or I uh, I don't give them enough at all and I've not fathomed that out yet but this one here this is um, where's this one from let's have a look oh this is from orchidspecies.co.uk now this this person doesn't uh, trade anymore um, and when it came you'll see these little tiny pseudobulbs here. Well that's it, that was it. And um, she's since developed this one here, this one, 
but it does have a tendency and I have to be ever so careful it sends a new growth out and then if you get any water on that new growth at all it just aborts that growth it just it just dies so um, I've had one more than one new growth that has uh, sorry there's another one you see that's another one that didn't make it so um, now she's now she's potted up in this inorganic medium. Uh, I've got some lava rock and some gravel and other things in there. I've just given her a good watering. And um, so I've no idea what species this one's going to be until eventually one day she may flower. And when that will be, I've no idea. You see, that's probably a sign of that it's not been kept, it's been kept too dry as on this one. And as on this one, as I say, uh, it's not my favourite orchid, um, and I suppose I'm doing it in injustice, really, because it's only because I don't know enough about it, and because so far, I mean, this one's enormous, and um, it was only small when it came from Madeira, and it must like the conditions, but that at the moment that's all they do, just send out leaves. So I suppose. Uh, I mustn't complain because uh, at least I've not killed them. And um, just checking some of the no ID little fowls I've got. Um, I've taken some downstairs just to uh, to water today. And uh, I thought I'd just finish with this one. See that one? Let me just see. Because the, these, sorry, this, these all tilt. You know what I mean? I've got this wire here. And uh, she's got a nice uh, active root there, and she's got a nice active root there. But just uh, just down in there, that's uh, an inflorescence, and there's something coming breaking out there. And uh, I don't know what that's going to be. So let's have a look at her roots. Oh, hold on, let me put her on the table first. And uh, look at that. She's lovely and uh, she's got lovely roots. And the only reason I'm watering them now is because uh, the rest is silver grey. And uh, I think it's just time to give her a little drop more water. So uh, I'll leave you with this. Uh, that's the first of the spikes. I know, uh, you know, people have their videos and the phalaenopsis are all in bloom and and everything else like that. This is supposed to be a mini. Look at the size of that for a mini. That's another thing. You buy these phalaenopsis and they say mini on them and before you know where you are you end up with a big huge phalaenopsis and I've had these that long now. I can't even remember what they look like. But uh, I mustn't be uh, too despondent because uh, like I say other YouTubers have got the uh, the blooms out and they look really nice. Um, but now, of course, the uh, the weather's changed over here, and uh, perhaps that will now um, um, trigger them all into uh, to spike and uh, to bloom for us next spring. So that's all at the moment from the grow room, and so we we've, we've done the seas now. Um, we did the cat layers, and now this is the thelogenies. And then um, the next big ones, um, the next big genus to do is the, um, oh, just hold on. I think I might have missed one. Let me just go and check this one. Just hold on. Hold on. Oh, dear me. You know, I was looking around the grow room before I started this video and I thought, I'm sure I've got another cellogeny. And for the life of me, I couldn't find it. Anyway. This is the other one, on the log, the log slogeny now, and I notice that uh, Roger's got, uh, got his in bloom, now this one has bloomed for me, and uh, she's on this log now, and she's quite heavy, I don't know if she's happy or not, but she's, she'll have to stay there, if nothing else, for the winter, see whether that, those roots do anything, oh so I've got four, that's why I say, uh, even with this one, 
Yeah, they have little, this one does, it does have a nice little bloom, I must admit. Um, you know, I can't complain. Um, but whether or not she'll send, an, send me any blooms out this time, I've no idea. But uh, she's on that bit of wood there. On that bit of bark. Anyway, that's uh, definitely the last now. So um, if I just place this on my knee and uh, wish you all uh, um, a good Friday night. And uh, we'll speak again soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.